In Al Raqqa, the engineering units dismantled a large quantity of explosive devices in a booby trapped car near a school in Al Nur Mosque neighborhood. The car was a Mercedes carrying a false plate and containing 300 kilograms of explosives and parked in an area by an armed terrorist group. In Aleppo, two members of the military engineering units were killed and a third was injured as well as a law enforcement personnel when an explosive device planted by an armed terrorist group blew up in a building under construction in Al Azizia neighborhood. An official source said that the engineering units had finished dismantling an explosive charge in the area when an armed terrorist group blew up another one that had been prepared to be remotely detonated near them. Armed terrorist groups continue their attempts to infiltrate from Lebanon into Syrian territories in Homs suburbs. Authorities intercepted two such attempts at Jusia Cross Point in Al Qsair and near Kamar Bridge in Tal Kalakh suburbs. The clashes between the authorities and the terrorist groups resulted in killing several terrorists and injuring others and destroying their car. The armed terrorist groups have resorted to illegal crossing points along the Syrian-Lebanese borders from the direction of Homs countryside with the aim of infiltrating into Syria and transferring weapons and funds to support the terrorist groups. Some Lebanese sides facilitated the process of smuggling armed men and weapons in order to shake up stability in Syria. To repel the current use by the armed men of such illegal passages, the authorities have adopted strict measures along the borders to guarantee the security of the homeland and citizens who have been suffering from the terrorists' practices against them. An armed terrorist group detonated an explosive device targeting a pipeline that transfers oil derivatives between Homs and Damascus and the southern region. The blast took place in Al Sultania area in Homs, setting the site of the explosion on fire. Meanwhile, an armed terrorist group blew up an oil pipeline belonging to the Euphrates Oil Company in Ain Ali region in Deir al Zor, causing a big fire to break out on the site of the explosion. Syria's permanent representative to the UN office at Geneva, Dr. Faisal al Hamwi, stressed that the armed terrorist groups are still violating the plan of UN envoy to Syria, Kofi Annan, with the support of some regional countries and the US. Dr. al Hamwi's remarks came during the 20th meeting of the Human Rights Council held in Geneva and in response to the High Commissioner, Navi Pillay's allegations and some states' representatives that support the armed terrorist groups in Syria. Dr. al Hamwi expressed the Syrian delegation's disapproval of the biased and subjective statements made by the High Commissioner based on some provocative media reports. On Pillay's allegations that the UN supervision mission in Syria did not manage to reach some areas in Syria, Dr. al Hamwi pointed out that the good standing cooperation between the international observers and the Syrian government was certified by the head of the mission, who affirmed that his team was moving freely in the country. The People's Assembly approved a proposal of forming four permanent committees concerned with general freedoms, human rights, family and media affairs. Assembly members stressed the importance of establishing these committees which fulfill the demands of the Constitution in protecting public freedoms and introducing real reforms in society. Assembly members called for speeding up the process of forming these committees in order to apply the constitutional items regarding social reform.